Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Matthew Nugent, and the purpose of this presentation is to provide a brief introduction to the Antarctic Meteorological Research and Data Center project and some of the ways we are promoting fair data in the polar research community. You may be familiar with our previous incarnation as the Antarctic Meteorological Research Center at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. The AMRC has been active in establishing automatic weather systems throughout Antarctica, collecting and sharing meteorological data, and producing geostationary and polar orbiting satellite composite imagery. Our data archive has grown over time to host data from a network of collaborators, which has resulted in an intricate data intake process, as you can see here. Until now, we've provided access to our archive over the web via our FTP site, which has existed for decades at this point and has rapidly become obsolete in recent months due to lack of support in modern web browsers. The MRDC was established and funded in part to build a formal data repository that can support rich metadata, a more contemporary user interface, and methods for interacting with search engines, as well as other disciplinary repositories and databases. In other words, to bring our archival work closer to meeting the FAIR data standards. So the last year for us has largely been a crash course in the verification of our data, all the way from establishing a linkable semantic model to interfacing with other FAIR data providers. Our new repository's web portal features a simple, user-friendly web interface with a powerful publicly accessible API for large-scale data transfers as well as metadata harvesting. We're emphasizing interoperability by implementing a controlled vocabulary derived from NASA's subject term thesaurus, as well as a schema.org structured metadata, which can be instantly transformed to meet a number of different metadata standards. Importantly, for the first time, we have the ability to assign digital object identifiers to our archival data the absence of which has historically proved to be an obstacle to researchers looking to publish using our data. Importantly, as our focus is on collaboration and exchange, our repository system will be open access. In addition to our usual data collection work, the AMRDC aims to provide a viable space to allow for outside collaborators to easily submit and publish data. Ideally, researchers will be able to leverage our work on the repository to increase the visibility of their data while also providing long-term storage and accessibility. We are also launching, at the same time, a new organizational website which will continue to host real-time data and imagery, while also exploring new opportunities to host data visualization and geospatial mapping for our existing data. We've used this opportunity to refresh our technical computing infrastructure to continue to support our real-time Antarctic data, namely the McIdas ADDE and Threads servers, as well as our work with the Antarctic IDD via LDM. In short, the AMRDC aims to coherently unify our various research and archival activities with our end goal of being a one-stop shop for Antarctic meteorological data. And with the continued support and oversight from our colleagues at the Office of Polar Programs and USAP, we are aiming to meet or exceed the Antarctic meteorological research community's standards for FAIR data while continuing to foster institutional collaboration and educational outreach. Thank you very much, and I'd be happy to take any questions you might have.